So this is a Smith speedometer for an MGB and at the moment the speedometer is under reading uh, which is clearly a problem. So this video is about uh, how to dismantle the uh, component. So I've already taken it from the car. I've kept all the brackets together so I don't lose them. Uh, the first thing to do is to remove the, the trip zero mechanism and it's uh, connected by a little pin that goes through here. So I have to make a tool and it's a nail narrowed off so I can use it as a punch. Uh, this has been apart before so it's quite easy to push out. There is a little pin, keep it safe. Lots of little bits come with this little felt grommet. At some point the bezel's got to come off. Um, I'm going to take it off now and then I'll take these two screws out. So. The bezel itself, all you need to do is twist it, but sometimes if it hasn't been moved for a while, it'll be really stiff. So it might be worth getting a screwdriver now and just teasing them out a little bit. This has been off before, so it's nice and slack. Once you've teased them all out, all the way around, just rotate the bezel and it'll just come off. There's the bezel. There's the glass. next bit that's got to come out is all of the mechanism from the housing that's held on by these two screws and what you've got to do is start being careful where you put everything so you don't damage anything try not to touch the inside with greasy hands you've got a screw and you've got an aluminium washer. Now, I had a lot of difficulty getting this out because it's got to be tilted so that you can get the trip mechanism clear. So I elongated the hole that it came from when it was out the last time. Now it's a lot easier to remove. Just push it and out it comes. And Put that one safe over there. There's a little brass washer came from the trip mechanism. And here is the mechanism free from the housing. So carrying on with the disassembly, I'm going to take the needle off next. So I've made a template. This is going to slide behind the drive shaft of the needle. And that's so that I don't damage the face of the speedo. Now I'm going to take two screwdrivers, one either side, and gently prise the needle off. That side. The next thing to come free is the face itself, connected by two little screws. Gently take the face off, taking care not to touch it with greasy fingerprints. And just here you can see the return spring. And this is the spring which will return the needle to zero once the cup has stopped spinning. So the next part is to detach the cup assembly with the numbers and the speedo needle from the magnet and the drive shaft. And the way that we do that is by undoing four screws. One on each of the four corners. Uh, 
then when you take it apart this is the one that needs to be treated with a little bit more care because it needs to be lifted underneath the plastic lever here so now I've removed the plastic cup sorry the aluminium cup and you can see it's all quite delicate so be careful put that in there and now you can see with a bit more clarity the magnet you see how it spins around also another part of it these two rivets they are part of this assembly here which keeps the whole uh, the drive shaft in and uh, one of the reasons I've got to take it apart is because this is causing this is loose and it's causing the whole thing to rise so I've got to re-engage this rivet here and the way I do that is I press down on here and put something in there to splay the rivet again <laughs> 